Hey everyone. So uh, Hank asked me to uh, record a video for the YouTube channel of how to uh, PR in updates to the FAQ or any other um, spec at diff. Um, so this is just sort of a walkthrough of spec up uh, if you, uh, that doesn't assume you've read the documentation. Um, so the FAQ, which uh, Hank and I have been working on, as you can see, um, is here. It is rendered as a normal HTML website on Diff's uh, web space. And uh, underlying that, there is a repo. Um, so you can PR in edits to the underlying text um, just through github.com, but that's um, not very efficient for large edits and it doesn't let you preview anything fancy you might be doing with um, spec ups, uh, hot rotted markdown and added features. Uh, so if you have external links, charts, graphs, you might want to be able to preview it. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how you would use Visual Studio Code to make a local preview and to upload both the underlying file, which you could do just as easily in GitHub, and the rendered version, the sort of HTML version. So um, what you want to do is um, open with GitHub desktop um, that will download the, the repo and make a local file. Um, I already have it, so uh, it, it's skipping a few steps and would take more time. Um, I would also recommend, in addition to installing GitHub desktop, install Visual Studio Code and the Node Package Manager or NPM. If you install all that in advance, this goes more smoothly. Um, so uh, this will uh, show you, let you manage multiple local copies of Git repos. And uh, I don't use GitHub Desktop for much. It's helpful to manage commits and PRs, if particularly if you're new to that. Um, you, uh, but I'll just show you how to do it directly in Visual Studio Code. Um, so um, here you can see in Visual Studio Code the same file structure that you see on the on Git, um, except here it's my local copy on my hard disk. Uh, so if I wanted to add uh, some gibberish, uh, um, I could do this, and when I save the file, you'll notice if you're using Visual Studio Code for the first time, uh, a file delta appears here in the uh, change, man change source control tab. Um, and that can be, uh, you can add individual file changes to a commit, you can add, you can, uh, ship the commit and then down here you'll see a little uh, change to the commit tracker. So there's one local commit that hasn't been uploaded. Um, we can also um, make a new branch which simplifies PR management. Uh, so now we're on a we're on a different branch. This little cloud upload icon uh, puts this branch I've named locally in GitHub as an option that other users can uh, see or uh, consider merging PRs from. Um, sort of mirroring my local uh, in, in the Git options everyone sees. Um, but none of this was the interesting part. The power user stuff happens when you use um, the terminal feature in Visual Studio Code and run locally. Um, if I didn't already have NPM and all of the spec up tooling installed, I would have to run this command. If you run NPM install, 
It will uh, do the familiar NPM stuff. If you've worked with JavaScript before, it will um, read through all the dependencies and, and their dependencies and download everything and check for conflicts and warn you to update some of them. Um, so that that requires you to do git ignore um, and ignore this folder of local copies of node packages. Um, and, um, but what I want to show you guys is another command run edit. Uh, in some spec up registries, the command names are changed and slightly modified. If you go into, um, I think it's in assets. Um, the um, the actual JavaScript, um, yeah, sorry. So um, yeah, so run edit is the default one mentioned in the um, instructions, the usage instructions for standard spec up. So if you just, um, m most uh, diff specs use it as, um, on, in its default settings. So when you run edit, what it will do is that it will take the markdown file as defined in this JSON. You have to put the paths in here. Um, and it will render them uh, for consumption at this public facing URL, right? So um, this file we were adding gibberish to will now get rendered into an updated index.html, which is what this will look like uh, when it gets, when the merge gets accepted. So um, what this does here, and you'll notice, um, let's add some more gibberish, more gibberish. Every time I save this markdown file, the terminal will register the change and tell you that it's re-rendering index.html. And this um, local copy of the rendered HTML, you, I mean, you can look at the, the differential here. It, it, the changes made in Markdown were reflected in the new HTML file. This local HTML, you can actually just open in a normal browser here we are. You can just open it and see a local preview. Right. Uh, oh, more gibberish. And then uh, if you refresh, you'll see that this is almost real time. This is just a half second lag while the um, HTML is re rendered. So, this is really useful for previewing. Uh, I highly recommend just, you know, doing the local preview anyways. It makes it easier to see your own typos. Um, just helps with usability, even if you're not using any of SpecUp's fancy markdown features or native swim lanes or whatever. Um, and importantly, uh, if you want to uh, include this re-rendered HTML in your commit, uh, and then PR in both the markdown updates and the final website updates, that makes it easier for whoever is accepting your commit. Because if you do it in GitHub only and you only update the markdown, um, someone has to both merge the commit and pull it to their local version and make the, they have to do all that themselves. Um, so it's uh, current and presumably future fact editors uh, greatly appreciate um, self-rendering. Uh, so to add more gibberish and re-render. So you can, oops, didn't even. So now there's a commit down here that includes both Markdown and HTML. Uh, we can push that to, to the remote gibberish branch. And then come back here and 
And this is how you would make a PR from the gibberish branch. Uh, do not merge this. I am recording a demo. And that is baby's first fact PR. Um, any questions, oh. Hank? <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the the markdown does it that still um, render if you use the spec up specific markdown or the specific um, syntax? Does oh, it still show a, a, a normal page if you would not use it on GitHub but somewhere else. Oh, you mean can I cut and paste this into exactly. like HackMD or Typora? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it uh, as far as I know, I have not yet discovered a corner case where okay. it won't render something that HackMD would render. It it has all the same features as, you know, I actually that's not exactly true. Uh I think there are a couple different flavors of markdown. I think HackMD mm -hmm. uses a newer one. But yeah. anything that would render in a GitHub comment All right. renders here. This is based on like one or two years ago, GitHub flavored markdown. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, some of the new markdown editors like HackMD and Typora might have a few new features that GitHub hasn't hasn't incorporated yet. It's it's closer to what GitHub uses. So SpecUp is a, a, a typical GitHub extension. It's not diff related or is it spec up? oh no spec up was uh was made by daniel buchner former executive director of diff yeah. uh to house diff specs and most most di uh, diff specs that are ratified and sort of approved by the steering committee are in spec up unless they have some reason to be in respec or bike shed or another spec tool based on where you know based on a plan to um, continue standardization somewhere else. Oh, so okay. this is the, the quick and dirty spec tool of diff. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Why not? Uh, yeah, and, and uh, definitely um, for, for documentation of the um, added features, uh, check out identity foundation slash spec dash up um, in case you want to have a chess game in your spec, <laughs> you can. <laughs> um, yeah, and and honestly, uh, the the main thing that I think people seeing this might want to use is the the swim lanes. It's very similar to swimlanes.io. Um, it's just cool to be able to do it here as an editable markdown file and not go back and forth between multiple interfaces yeah. and cut and paste and anything. It's cool to just have it in the markdown um, for for evolving it over time. Okay, well, let's go. I'm going to use it. And, uh, awesome. <laughs> cool, thanks so much. I'm gonna stop recording. Boop. <laughs>